Happy May 15th and happy wonderful Wednesday. Hello Sycamore and welcome to this episode of our Sycamore Junior High School Aviator Airways. Hello, I'm Robert. And hey there, I'm Tania. So are Sycamore with respect, responsibility, safety, and creative problem solving. Now it's time where we all be respectful and stand with our fellow aviators, place our hand over our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all and please be seated. Let's go over to Mr. Heil for a special announcement. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mr. Heil. I'm here to talk to you about 7th grade day. 7th uh, grade day is the same day as 8th grade day. And while the 8th graders are out at Blue Ash Rec Center, uh, the 7th graders, we will be watching a movie in the morning and then we'll have lunch. And then we will have uh, recess in the afternoon for about an hour. So for the movie, there will be a document posted on Canvas, uh, and it will look like this, and that document is where you make your movie choice. So essentially, that, that document will be posted on Thursday, and it will close on Tuesday. Uh, once you make your choice, it is final. If you want to coordinate with your friends, you have a couple days. There are 28 spots per movie. So if you want to coordinate with your friends, you need to make sure that you do that, and if you're unsure how many spots are left, you can always come see me and I can tell you. Uh, once you make a choice, it is final. Uh, there's a couple of different movie options. There's also quiet room options uh, for people that don't want to watch a movie, and then there's also board game options uh, for people that don't want to watch a movie or have quiet time. Uh, so come see me if you have any questions, and there will also be a snack cart uh, that will come around during that time, and you can buy snacks and drinks with your first class tickets. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mr. Ayo. Okay, next up. Hey, I'm here with the boys track team. I'm going to ask them a few questions, but we're going to see what their names are first. What's your name, sir? Noam. Sonzi. Jack. Hey, how's the season going so far? Really good. Amazing. Great. Uh, what's your guys' favorite moment this season? Uh, hawking down a bunch of runners in my 200 meter race. Uh, getting <laughs> sub 10 in my 100. Uh, watching Andrew Poor run the mile. All right. What's your guys' ex expectations for next year? Uh, really fun, but really difficult. Uh, really fun, but really difficult. <laughs> I see. A uh, new competition. All right, that's that's it, folks. Mark, Mark your calendars. calendars. Remember to make sure your laptop is fully charged for math testing tomorrow. Congratulations, students. We hit the goal. 91.8% of students did not receive a referral in April. Yay! We earned a snowy day. Remember to bring your $2 on Thursday, May 16th to purchase your shaved ice during lunchtime. May 30th is the last day of school. Let the countdown continue. 11 days of school from today until summer break, and eighth grade moves on to high school. Ooh. Keep your grades up and turning your work to finish strong. Next, Next up, up, Athletes of the Week. Good afternoon, Aviators. I am sitting here with Hem Sai. He is our final, well, part of our final two. Uh, Athletes of the Week is a member of our GMC third place winning boys tennis team. And uh, you guys only lost to Mason in yeah. the GMC. And some people are saying, wait a second, you said third place, but they fell behind Mason because Mason had an A team and Mason had an A minus team. Yeah. Would you say, yeah, Mason has a pretty strong tennis program. So they actually placed first and second at the GMC and we were right there behind them at in third place, which is an incredible honor. So uh, Hemsai from Coach Andriola and Coach Meyer, it says, Hemsai is an outstanding student, person, and athlete. He has played doubles for the gold team throughout his 7th and 8th grade years at Sycamore, and he did so with pride. He always jumps at the opportunity to play, which shows his dedication and enjoyment of the sport. 
Hemsai keeps fighting in a match, even if he's losing, and always demonstrates good sportsmanship. He shows maturity and a positive team spirit towards his teammates, doubles partners, coaches, opponents, and parents. Hemsai is a smart player, constantly assessing his opponent and trying to figure out his strengths and weaknesses. He is a hard-working young man on and off the court, always wanting more court time to practice his tennis skills. And I don't know if you, you've been out to the new tennis courts, but yeah. they are, they're ready. Yeah. There's nets, yeah. and they're lined, and they are about ready to go. So we're getting really, really close. We hope to have those ready for the fall. He practices and plays with a positive attitude and a growth mindset of, and dominated at the net this week during his doubles matches. These attributes in combination with continually putting forth his best effort make him a dedicated athlete. We are thankful that Hemsai is a part of Sycamore Tennis. That's quite a write-up. Fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. So this is your write-up, certificate for the fridge, and enjoy some Chick-fil-A on us. Congratulations. Thank you. Clap, 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 clap. All right, Hemsai, you can take that with you. And we are going to get our absolute last athlete of the week for the 23-24 season. This is Tyler. And Tyler, is it Tyler Marcel? Yeah. All right, fantastic. So, Tyler, you are also nominated by Coach Andriola and Coach Meyer. And this says, congratulations to Tyler for being selected from the Green Boys Tennis Team as the athlete of the week. Tyler is an eighth grader who has done an outstanding job for the Aviators. This young man is a talented doubles player. So are you, do you with Hemsai, or are you guys doubles together? Uh, no, because he's on the gold team. I'm on the green team. So Got it. Okay. And no matter who his partner is, they become a vital part of our team lineup. He is a hard worker, always has a positive attitude, very coachable, and a super nice kid. His coaches know he will continue to be successful on and off the court. We are proud of Tyler and look forward to watching him continue to grow into an outstanding tennis player and, more importantly, a wonderful person. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you. That's an awesome write-up as well. We'll give that to you. Got this for the fridge. And go enjoy some Chick-fil-A on us as well. Thank you. So that wraps up our 23-24 uh, season. Uh, we have no more sports. Uh, all sports have come to a close. Uh, for those of you thinking about 8th grade, uh, those are current 7th graders, um, if I'm not mistaken, final forms will open up on June 5th, and you can get signed up and ready to go. Thank you. Thanks, and that's so awesome. Congratulations to our Athletes of the Week. Way to go and way to work hard to represent our school. Birthdays. Oops. Happy birthday to students celebrating today, Samuel D. and Peter V. Next up. And this is Kendall. And now over to our segment, The Morning Sycamore. I'm Holden and I'm here with Mrs. Spielman. I'm here to interview you today. What are uh, your thoughts on the junior high? The new building? Mm -hmm. um, I love it. Um, I love the colors and the windows and the openness and I love my room. How long have you been working here? I've been at the junior high for 26 years. 26? Well, uh, why did you decide to become an art teacher? Always loved art. I've always been creative and I've always just loved being in an art room and, and I love junior high. So job for me. What's your favorite project to work on with kids? Um, I have a lot of favorite projects, but I think I really love doing the ceramic shoes, which are all outside my classroom. I love seeing what students can, can make. They always look amazing, and I think everybody kind of surprises themselves and uh, does a really good job on those. Thank you. That's all I have to Next up. Hey guys, I'm here with two track runners. Who am I here with today? Delilah Jefferson. Emily James. Alright guys, so what has been your favorite part of the season so far? Probably being able to cheer on everyone else and then like getting your race over with. Uh, being with friends and just like cheering on people. What was your first um, expectation for when you started? Um, that 
we need to make sure that our team can do well and at least make it to GMCs and hopefully compete pretty well against all the other teams. Just for our team to do as hard as we could and beat others. And what are you guys excited for or expecting for next year? Um, I hope our 4x2 relay can make it to state because we were really close and um, that we'll get more practice on the 4x2 and then hopefully we can clear out Mason's 4x2. I hope we just win GMCs again because we did really good this year. Thank you. Next up, joke of the day. Random hand. Thanks. Knock, knock. Who's there? Snow. Snow who? Snow time for questions. Just let me in. Ha. What? Super funny. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, make good choices, learn from your mistakes, and go Braves! Yo, who am I here with? James Suffield. Um, what sycamore sport do you play? I play, I run track and basketball. All right, what are you currently playing? Track. All right, what is one thing you're enjoying about the season so far? Uh, I really like going to meets and practices with all my friends. It's pretty fun. What is your favorite moment um, this season? Playing track. We had a late meet, and last race of the night, we won. All the coaches were really hype, and that was my favorite moment. Seems hype. Last question. What is one thing you're so excited for next year? At the high school, uh, I don't know. I'm just excited to have an opportunity to go out there and compete as a freshman. All right, let's give it up for James. Go, Ace! <laughs> that was good. <laughs>